Hi, welcome back to Lang Speed and Cycle. Today I'm going to open up the Pittsburgh Motorcycle Jack and do an initial test on it also. Let's open it up and check it out. Cool, we have a manual. This one does not say, please don't return to the store. So that's a good sign. I think I got all my tools I need to put this thing together. I just want to give a quick shout out to Minnesota Pneumatic Products. This is a little bit hex bit set I've had for five years at least. And it has all sorts of uh, different size bits in it and has this magnetic uh, quarter inch adapter to go into your little quarter inch ratchet. This is their quarter inch ratchet. It extends and goes back. And I actually have their 3 Ace flex head ratchet I use at work, and they've always worked flawlessly for me. I checked this beforehand, before I started recording this time, because on the big red motorcycle jack, these bolt holes did not line up at all. Goodness gracious. This thing jacked up. Now the jack rolls nice and easily. This is a V Star 1100, so the oil pan sits a little lower than the actual frame. So, what I did is I got it nice and lined up right at the about the back. The rear pipe comes out of the bike. Put the jack handle right in front of that. Then I used some wood shims to go on the frame because of that, like I said, the low hanging oil pan. Now it should be in place. Now when you're lifting up a bike, this is just my understanding, is you wanna tip it towards you with the kickstand on the opposite side so that if the bike does tip back, it tips back onto the kickstand. So let's tip it up, get this jack underneath it and uh, see how it lifts up. There we go. Just pump it up. Keep an eye. You can actually see the frame on the inside of the exhaust pipe. So I'm just keeping an eye on that. As you can see, I'm far enough off the ground. I can work on the back of the bike. I'm definitely high enough off the ground on the front. Like I said, the bike is pretty stable. Resting on the frame on both sides, which is perfect. Really quick, I want to add in that make sure when you're lifting up the bike, you lift it far enough so that the safety latches engage, and then you use the foot pedal to lower the lift into those little sections right there when you're lifting up the bike and working on it because the last thing you want is for the bike to lower on its own if the lift malfunctions at all and you know in my case I'm going to be getting the rear tire replaced and I don't want to come home to a bike tipped over or laying on the ground so just wanted to add that in there for you guys 
Me personally, I am gonna have a hand on the bike when I lower it down. You know, that's just the way I uh, am gonna do it. Let's lower it down really quick. Hopefully not. Oh, perfect. Nice and smooth. And again, I'm holding the bike up right now. There we go. Slides right out. Thanks again for watching Lang Speed and Cycle. I hope this helped you decide whether or not to get the Pittsburgh Motorcycle Jack. I think I'm going to keep it around. It will help me do some maintenance to the V-Star, including removing the rear tire, an oil change, and some other maintenance. I also got plenty of other content coming for Old Blue and a bunch of other stuff. Feel free to hit that subscribe bell or follow me on Instagram at Lang Speed and Cycle. Thanks again for watching and remember, find them, fix them, and drive them.